Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. Correlation, first topic we have covered, Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation in the previous classes. One was actual mean method, another one was assumed mean method. Perfect. Now coming today, rank correlation. Quite easy. If you get in exam, don't leave it. You have to score 10 percent. My favorite topic this is rank correlation. Why this rank correlation? Suppose say, uh, especially in some cases like judges have given their ratings. Uh, 10 members are participating in a beauty contest. For 10 members, different ranks are given by one judge. Another judge is giving another ranks. And the and third judge is giving another kind of rank. So what is the correlation between these ranks? Is it acceptable? Is it near to each other or not? To know that, we have to go for the rank correlation. Rank correlation is also useful to many cases like students, 10 students different subjects are given and their marks. So how is their correlation like rank wise, however they got the ranks that we can uh, just compare it. By the way rank correlation is introduced by Charles Edward Spearman. Coefficient of correlation was introduced by Carl Pearson. Now this one is. Charles Edward Spearman in the year 1904. Okay. So, what is how do we calculate this rank correlation? Two methods are there. One is where actual ranks are given, ranks are given directly. So, you can go ahead for calculation of rank correlation. Second method is where ranks are not given. Not given, we have to give the ranks, then go for the calculation. Anyway, today we will focus this one. Whether ranks are given or not given, does not matter, formula is same, RS, R means rank correlation, S means Spearman, okay, RS, Spearman's rank correlation. Formula is very easy, 1 minus 6 sigma d square by n cube minus n, say along with me, 1 minus 6 sigma d square by n cube minus n, simple. Easily able to remember and calculation is also quite easy. Just focus 5 minutes, you will understand everything. Now, the problem, <coughs> excuse me, the problem is given here. The following data provide the ranks of 10 students in 2 subjects. Calculate rank correlation. Read this carefully. The following data provide the ranks of 10 students. Ranks are given. Ranks of 10 students in 2 subjects. Calculate rank correlation means this is the case where ranks are given. Ranks are given in two subjects. Calculate rank correlation. Now, what is given data? Statistics max two subjects ranks are given. I have written R1, R2, rank 1, rank 2. This I have written, but they did not give, they gave only statistics and max subjects ranks of 10. <coughs> How many students? 10 students. Okay. Statistics and max ranks are given. Need not to calculate the ranks, ranks are already given. Just we have to go ahead as per the formula 1 minus 6 sigma d square. 6 is okay number, d square we need. n means number of observations. How many are the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? 10. Anyway, 10 students they already said. n is also we know. What do we need? d square we want. How do we calculate d square? First, we have to calculate d. So, D we have to calculate. How do we get D? So, D is R1 minus R2. From R1 to R2, if we deduct it, we get D. And what do we need? D square we want. So, another column D square. Only two columns we are preparing. One is D, another one is D square. D means R1 minus R2. Shall we do the calculations? 9 minus 1, 8. 6 minus 5, 1. 1 minus 7, minus 7. 1 minus 8, minus 7. 2 minus 2, 0. 3 minus 6, minus 3. 7 minus 7, 0. 10 minus 10, 0. 5 minus 4, 1. 8 minus 9, minus 1. 4 minus 3, 1. Quite easy calculations. No? <laughs> Now, d square. 
So, we will square this 8 8s of 64, 1, 49, 0, 9, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 total of d square, this is 50, 50, 60, why do we take risk? This is 50, 10 means 60, 62, 62 plus 64 comes to 126. 126 is the total, apply it in the formula, simple. So, where can I work out? Shall I do here? Is it visible? Board is visible there. Anyway, safe side I will do it here only. Formula also I, we have already written R s. Okay? So, that is P m n's rank correlation. R s is equal to y minus formula. Formula already I have written. I am not writing it once again. 1 minus 6 into d square. d square is here 126 by n cube. n means 10. 10, 10 cube minus 10 uh, calculations 1 minus 6 into 126 comes to 756 10 cube 10 into 10 comes to 100 100 into 10 no 1000 it is 1000 minus 10 so, shall I do here 1 minus 756 by 1000 minus 10 means 990. So, 756 divided by 990 comes to 0 0.76, 1 minus 0 0.76. It if you deduct it, you are getting 0 0.24. 0 0.236 something we are getting, I am adjusting nearest rupee, this is the answer. Easy? Feeling easy? Na? Quite easy, damn easy, anyone can work out. Take screenshot. Shall I give you recap? There is nothing to worry. First of all, when problem is given, you have to see ranks are given or you have to give the rank. You have to read the problem very carefully. The following data provide the ranks of 10 subjects, 10 subjects or uh, uh, 10 students in 2 subjects. It means ranks are given, okay? Calculate rank correlation, ranks, okay? Uh, max sub, uh, statistic subject ranks, max subject ranks. So, I have mentioned R1, R2, this we have to write. Then as per the formula, we need D square. First, if you calculate D, then you will get D square. How do you get D? D means R1 minus R2, rank 1 minus rank 2. You got D, D square do it and apply it in the formula. That is all. Formula is also very easy. 1 minus 6 sigma D square by n cube minus n. Okay? And uh, if you understood, here is a problem homework for you. Ranks are given, X ranks, total 12 members ranks are given, X R1 and Y R2 is given same like this problem only, work out it, calculate first D, then D square, apply it in the formula, your answer must be minus 0 0.45. How many of you are getting? Write it in the comment box if you get the answer, practice it because you understood now, once if you understood any problem, immediately if you practice it, so that gives you confidence. It does not take much time, hardly 5 minutes or 10 minutes, you can work out, just to go ahead. By the way, check out the playlist of this channel, many subjects already covered, which is useful for you, use it and uh, study well in advance before exams, revise it before exams, just before exams you have to revise it, follow this funda and you will be in a top position always. Practice well, do not forget to share this videos because everything is free of cost. Stay connected, next class we will see where ranks are not given, okay? So, see you, good luck.